and bring those papers. Yeah, those. Thank you. Thank you so much. And, and bring me the other papers about ODB. Okay. Oh my God, that I do. Somebody please say it ain't so. I want to thank y'all for tuning in to Docs Daily, where you get highly classified documentations from your boy, Sean Blazy. Ha ha ha. But ain't nothing funny though. The Wu Tang Clan has been accused of sacrificing ODB for a long time. They're making a resurgence in 2022. Method Man is doing his thing on the big screen. The RZA produced plenty of movies and got plenty of money since ODB passed. Rec Juan is on the Breakfast Club. He's going on Vlad TV. And all the other members of the group are writing books and doing big things now that ODB is out the picture. So people looking at them, like what exactly happened with ODB. Now that he's gone, everybody's doing good and no disrespect to ODB, but every group in history, I don't care if it's a rap group, R&B group, every group in history flourish when the crackhead of the group is no longer with us. Oh my I'm talking about the Beatles. When John Lennon passed, they was able to do what they had to do. The Temptations, every group, because you only as strong is your weakest link. As long as you have a crackhead in your group, the whole group gonna be left behind, especially with the Wu-Tang Clan. People been calling them crackheads for years. They rapping about smoking dust blunts and cracks and weeds making their eyes bleed. And they could never get away from that as long as ODB was out here doing crackhead stuff. And rest in peace to ODB. Since Old Dirty passed, every last member of the group is doing big things, movie deals, all that, you name it. Even the albums they put together as a group when ODB passed away still was haunted by the ghost of ODB. Trying to do something as the Wu-Tang Clan together, they could never do that because ODB is not there. And it makes them look bad because ODB was there. And on top of that, Every last member of the group wrote Old Dirty, wrote his raps. Old Dirty Bastard didn't know how to rap. Everything he said on the mic was either written by Method Man, the Jizza, the Rizza. So he wasn't even talented. And since they all wrote his rhymes, when he passed away, they could get their royalties. It's hell. When you got to split a check nine different ways, you got 10 members in the group. Y'all all writing his raps. He getting paid, but that's supposed to be your money. Look, we about to get into it. And I want to say this before I get started. It's always the least cool member of the group that do the most to try to fit into the group. The dude that really don't fit in got to go up and beyond and be extra just to be down with the squad. And unfortunately, that was ODB. And like I said, this man is no longer here with us. Rest in peace to him. But like I said, a lot of people been asking this question. Did the Wu-Tang Clan sacrifice ODB? Let's get into it, man. I don't know. Y'all gonna have to let me know. Method Man said, Old Dirty Bastard Stole Rhymes. Oh my goodness. Rapper allegedly lifted verses from RZA and Jizza on his debut album. So Method Man had to keep it real one time. Y'all loving Old Dirty. Y'all missing Old Dirty. He ain't even write his raps. The RZA and the Jizza and other members wrote all of his bars, y'all. Ghostface Killer, Master Killer, Rec Wan, RZA, Old Dirty Bastard, Jizza, You God, and Method Man posed for a portrait in New York City's April 17 issue. The late Wu-Tang Clan rapper Old Dirty Bastard stole most of the lyrics on his debut album, Return of the 36 Chambers. The dirty version from fellow Wu-Tang member says Wu MC Method Man. The majority of the verses on that album are old RZA and old Jizza rhymes, Method Man told Complex. Dirty took all of their sh and made it his own. And the jizz ain't say sh. Most of Dirty's verses was Jizz's verses. I remember Jizz and ODB got in an argument one night, and Jizz was like, "Nigga, most of the sh on your album is mine's, anyways." Oh my goodness. 
So the whole old dirty rhymes was some stuff that he added a little season on. He was still in rhyme books. So when it's time for them to get paid and he not showing up to concerts or when it's time to do a music video and he not there and they got to put a mask on somebody and pay them to jump around and act like ODB. They like, damn, why is he even in the group? Look at this, y'all. ODB wrote Brooklyn Zoo, though, says Method Man. I could go through the discography. I could tell you which ones he wrote. Like Dog Dookie and Wu Tang Forever. Call me a dog, but leave a dog alone because nothing can stop me from burying my bones. I wrote that sh when I was 15 years old. Oh my goodness. Hold on. He's still in old raps. A old, old Method Man rap from when he was 15. He put it on a platinum selling record. You can't tell me that they not salty. Look, we got a whole lot of stuff to get into tonight because the Wu-Tang Clan was in a whole lot of trouble back in the day. They was all about to go down. They was allegedly selling guns and other stuff as a group. And the FBI was on their ass. Look at this, y'all. Y'all got to see this. The FBI used to suspect. The Wu-Tang Clan of all sorts of major crimes, all, all different types of stuff. Everybody was about to go down because the FBI was involved and they knew what was going on. Somebody had to take the fall for everybody. And let me say this. When ODB went to jail, they just found a little bit of dope on him. I mean, and he did four years. And everybody like, damn, why they got ODB in maximum security? And he's serving this hard time for a couple of bags of blow. It ain't like he was selling it. He was using it. But somebody had to take the fall. Let's get into it. Every self-respecting famous artist that has an enemy or two, but leave it to the Wu-Tang to have beef with none other than the FBI. As Vice tells us, said beef was largely a one-sided thing nursed by the Bureau from 1999 to 2004, the FBI, along with the NYPD, investigated the Wu-Tang Clan about a whole host of alleged crimes ranging from gang ties to drug crimes and money laundering. One particular object of their interest was Russell Jones, a.k.a. Old Dirty Bastard, who accidentally died the same year the investigations died down. However, the feds were also completely fine with labeling the entire group with the tag of 281F, which means the FBI at one point considered the Wu-Tang Clan a major criminal organization. As Billboard notes, even murder charges were on the table for a while as the investigators suspected that RZA and Reg Wan had ordered hits on two men who robbed their family members. Oh my goodness. So why was ODB a prime suspect? He ain't no crime boss. But like I said, it was the winkest link in the group. If anybody going down, I ain't going down. You going down, I ain't going down. Old Dirty, doped out, ain't even writing no raps. And they've been carrying this man the whole time. Now, this is all alleged news. But we got to get into it. Now, I read this to y'all. Look what happens next. The unexpected death of ODB. As you can probably guess by his street name, Old Dirty Bastard was a controversial character. As Virtual tells us, he has something of a wild man of the Wu-Tang Clan with his solo career dealings and failure to show up to concerts, drawing eerie from bandmates. However, his chapter in the Wu-Tang legacy will ultimately be a tragic one, as in 2004, ODB unexpectedly passed at a recording studio. So, same year, all of this stuff was coming down on the Wu, now that he out the picture, everybody's doing good. 
According to a Rolling Stone interview, the controversial rapper died of a heart attack bought on by a cocktail of the painkiller, tremolodol, and cocaine shortly before he would have turned 35. Uh, birthdays aside, this happened at a particular unfortunate point in ODB's career. He'd recently been released from prison. A reality show based on his life was set to premiere soon. And hold on, where it go? And he was putting together his latest solo album Osiris. What's more, he ended up leaving his martial call in less than exemplary terms with his Wu Tang brothers. Just one day before his death, Method Man had called him out on stage for no showing to a Wu Tang Clan gig. The day before he passed, Method Man called him out on stage for a no show at a Wu Tang Clan gig. Enough was enough. This man, he's doing too much. He And look what happens next, people. After Method Man called out ODB and ODB passed away, Method Man was almost a victim of a drive-by shooting. The Wu-Tang Clan is a massive collective, but it would still exist if one of the key members had died before they made it big. Possibly not, said Wu-Tang mastermind Rizza in the 2009 interview. They tried to get meth. Like, we know what you did. Look, Riz almost went to jail for shooting a guy in the leg. Oh, my goodness. And this is after ODB. You guys parole trouble and personal tragedies. And it goes on and on Wu-Tang Clan and the strange divorce court allegations. So one of them was married to, oh my goodness. to the other one. And you wonder why they be doing albums together. Now... I'm not saying anything, but it is kind of funny how the weakest link is gone and everybody's doing amazing nowadays. They got that. The FBI off their back. They riding high. Look at this, y'all. Summer 2004. To get ODB to leave his hotel room and perform at Hot 97 Summer Jam, RZA bribes him with an extra five grand. Come on, man. Oh, my goodness. ODB was scared to leave the hotel room. RZA had to bribe him with some money. November 2004, Old Dirty Bastard misses another concert, prompting Method Man to call him out on stage. There's no one bigger than the clan. When you see Old Dirty Bastard tell him that, the next day, ODB dies at a recording studio from an accidental drug overdose. Rest in peace to old dirty Reggie cut the music, man. Now this is the part where it get real deep. We got an after party going on y'all. And uh, it's over here on the GMB man cave. I left the link in the description box. Make sure y'all come to the after party to show me some love. And uh, we're going to be talking about how to date in 2022. Cause I know people have relationship issues and we definitely going to be talking about that in the man cave so hit the description box y'all gonna be able to call in all that good stuff but until then let's get into these highly classified documentations man y'all gotta pay attention to this reggie cut the music man appreciate it all right here we go check this out y'all the master dirty brought that unique talent to the 98 grammys yeah when the wu-tang clan were passed over for best rap artist dirty went off please calm down the music and everything everything she said, um, I went and bought me an outfit today that costed a lot of money today. You know what I mean? Because I figured that Wu-Tang was going to win. I was down on the floor. Okay. Now, y'all see that. And I know y'all heard about when ODB crashed the Grammys. And that kind of threw Wu-Tang out of the loop. Just by them being nominated for a Grammy was good enough because if they would have kept working hard, Next year, they would have bought them back and they could have possibly won a Grammy. But when you got people going up on stage and snatching microphones and acting crazy and drunk and belligerent, they not trying to put y'all in no Grammy categories because y'all might bring ODB back. And best believe the Wu-Tang felt a certain type of way about that because why is this crackhead ruining our opportunities and what you want a Grammy for and you ain't even writing no raps? Let's get into this, man. Hold on. Listen at this. 
Oh, no, he didn't yeah. do it. I don't know how y'all see it, but when it comes to the children, Wu-Tang is for the children. We teach the children. I was drunk as a <laughs> You know, I just got mad, man, because the Wu-Tang didn't win that day. Okay? I want y'all to know that this is ODB and I love you all. Peace. But Dirty's behavior. Yo, man, that that is beyond crazy, man. That is beyond crazy. Okay, look, we got a lot to get into, y'all, because this stuff is about to get. Y'all got to pay attention to this because it's cold blooded the way they did this, man. L listen at this, y'all. It's it's only going to get deeper. He looked really bad. A month later, Dirty was finally caught at this McDonald's drive through in Philadelphia. He pleaded guilty to all charges and was sent to Clinton Correctional Facility in upstate New York. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Dirty was always tremendously frightened of jail because he was told that if he ever went to jail, he was going to be killed. You know how you go in prison and you sit down and you read the book or you write a rhyme or you get on the phone and you happy. Hey, my dad, dad, what's up, all that That wasn't like that for me, done. When I was in prison, all I heard was we are killing ODB. Hold on, y'all. He said that when he got to jail, all he heard was we killing ODB. Somebody had a hit out on him in jail because usually when a rapper go to jail, they get love up in there for the most part. People talking about drop the link like they ain't never been over to the GMB man cave before. All you got to do is type in GMB man cave. You act like you ain't never been to the channel before. You know where it's at. It's right there on YouTube. Oh my goodness. But uh, let's just get back into these documentations. Um, Yeah. But when ODB got to jail, they talking about we going to kill ODB. And he was scared for his life. They set him on fire in there. They broke his jaw, broke his leg. Somebody was in there trying to get rid of ODB. And don't nobody know why. Okay, listen at this, y'all. Let me run that part back. Because he was scared the whole time he was up in there. Listen at this, man. You can sit down and you read the book. Or you write a rhyme. Or you get on the phone and you happy. Hey, my, my dad, dad, what's up, man? All that that shit wasn't like that for me, done. When I was in prison, all I heard was we are killing ODB. He was assaulted numerous times in jail. He had his leg broken. He was hit with a telephone. I used to argue with like 20 inmates at a time. I see you in the yard. What? Popping that up there and over there and over there. I was always nervous. Every Hold on, y'all. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. He said when he would leave his cell, he would argue with 20 inmates at a time from every direction. They yelling, they screaming, oh, we going to get you, nigga. You dead, ODB. He ain't got no street beef, no nothing. He a rapper that does drugs. But everybody in there was trying to take him out the game. It only get worse, y'all. But I got to run that part back because this is unbelievable. Hold on, y'all. Dirty was always tremendously frightened of jail because he was told that if he ever went to jail, he was going to be killed. You know how you go in prison and you sit down and you read the book or you... This is the last around, time, y'all. Or you get on the phone and you happy. Hey, my, my dad, dad, what's up, man? All that, that wasn't like that for me, done. When I was in prison... All I heard was we are killing ODB. He was assaulted numerous times in jail. He had his leg broken. He was hit with a telephone. I used to argue with like 20 inmates at a time. I see you in the yard. What? Popping that up there and over there and over there. I was always nervous. Every day that he called, I said, you're still here? <laughs> He said, I don't think I'm going to make it another day. I said, but you're still here. It was deep in there, man. I didn't eat for months, man. 
because I was so scared in there. Dirty also felt abandoned by his Wu-Tang family. Nobody that was there for me when I was in prison. Nobody. I have to go see him sometimes. I ain't go see him many times, but put my time in, you know what I mean? To go see him, drove up. Wu-Tang don't ever front on me when I'm in prison no more. Word, man. You mean front on ODB. I'm the that made this I established this Hold on, y'all. Wait a minute. They didn't even go see. They didn't even go see him when he was in jail. This is the saddest thing ever. He trying his hardest to make it through another day. People threatening his life. And the Wu-Tang supposed to be some certified street dudes. They know exactly what's going on in there. You can't tell me Rick Wan and Ghostface didn't know what was going on with ODB. You mean to tell me they didn't hear that his life was getting threatened up in there? They couldn't put in a call to somebody Wu-Tang. Y'all supposed to have millions of Wu killer bees all across the world, but couldn't get ODB no protection up in there? RZA talking about, oh, he was busy. He couldn't go see him. And that's supposed to be your blood cousin. Look, it's only going to get deeper, y'all. But we got to move on to the next segment because there's some more stuff I got to share with y'all. Okay. Now, th this is the cold part that people don't want to talk about. But uh, I'm about to share this with y'all real quick. Okay, listen at this, y'all. Look, look at this. Now, ODB get out of jail, and he hook up with Dame Dash of Rockefeller Records. Now, keep in mind, Dame Dash had no intentions on Old Dirty putting out no album. It was just another sacrifice on the line. A sacrificial lamb, we can get them for cheap. And people making it seem like the RZA and Dame Dash wasn't working together to get old dirty bastard the Rockefeller. But y'all gonna see. Listen at this, man. We lost him. Outside the psych center waits Damon Dash, CEO of one of rap's biggest labels, Rockefeller Records. Even though Dirty's been away from the rap game, Damon couldn't wait to sign him. He's about to be a member of a new family. So, of course, his family should be there for him when he comes out. I mean, that's what the purpose of having a family is. Checking the whole DD out. All right. This is it. He's coming home. Dirty's free. Peace. Peace, sir. Let's move on. When he put feet on solid ground, he realized he was free, then bring everything else on. Damon Dash. Hey, Damon. What's up, man? What's going on? Now, this is the crazy thing, y'all, that I want y'all to think about. The whole time he was in there, no phone calls, no letters, no nothing, no love. They ain't sent him no food, no commissary. But the day he get out, everybody is there with open arms to welcome his welcome him home. Dame Dash is there. That's because it's time to eat off of this man it is time to milk this cow and y'all gonna see how it all fold out how everybody put their hand in the pot and put the pressure on this man thinking that he's a solo act but the truth is the Wu-Tang been writing his rhymes the whole time he he don't know how to rap he don't know how to write rhymes. He didn't know how to do none of that. Like Method Man pointed out. He said, old dirty bastard stole rhymes. He ain't write rhymes. So when Dame Dash signed him like they gonna make some hits, old dirty ain't never wrote a hit in his life. So of course it was a lot of pressure on his back when he came home. Not to mention, all of them issues with the Wu-Tang Clan hovering over his head. He don't know who wanted them dead. Let me share something with y'all real quick. Because this is what a lot of people miss out on. 
the Wu Tang was writing his raps. So they the ones that created this character, Old Dirty Bastard. They the one that had him acting wild. They the ones that made him the hype man. So around this time, when they was going through all this stuff with the government, and they was getting ready to all go down as a group, as a criminal organization, the RZA wrote this rhyme for Old Dirty Bastard on his last album before he went to jail, titled Nigga Please. Now, okay, Old Dirty Bastard, Nigga Please. The RZA wrote this because the RZA is on the outro. The RZA had his hands all over this. Y'all need to listen at these rhymes real quick. He said, watch your sh fall like Rome. I'm immune to all viruses. I get the cocaine. It cleans out my sinuses. Just for slinging, no, I get a quarter mil. I'll have it raining ice drops the size of automobiles. Now listen, knowing that the government is on their back, why would they write those rhymes for Old Dirty? Watch your sh fall like Rome. I'm immune to all viruses. I get the coke. It cleans out my cyruses just for slinging no nah. and no nah is drugs. I get a quarter mil. I'll have ice raining on your block the size of automobiles. So he's talking about s selling some meth. He said, kill all the government microchips in my body. I'm the paranoid Iga at your party. Basically, they put a chip in his ass and he was paranoid in jail. When he said, I'm the paranoid, no. Nah. At your party, he was talking about him being paranoid in jail. I kill all my enemies at birth. Shut the F up, chick, and let me slide my hands up your skirt. Nigga, please. Oh, my goodness. And this is the type of rhymes they put on this man. So when he go to court and you pull up these lyrics, oh, he the mastermind behind all of this foolishness and he a pervert. So throw him in jail. Now, people alleging that the Wu had something to do with it. And best believe we're going to be talking about it tonight in the man cave. Uh, I left the link in the description box. So feel free to come through. And if you can't find the link for some strange reason, just go to your little, let me show y'all what to do. Look, this is what you do. Go to your little search box and type in GMB man cave and it'll pop up for your ass. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. But let's just get back to this highly classified documentary. Now, old dirty come home, everybody there welcome, welcoming him with open arms. And y'all got to see this real fast because this part really touched me when I first seen it. Y'all got to see this. This is old dirty getting introduced to the world as the new Rockefeller artist. Listen at this. The new member, the newest member of the rock, Dirt McGirt. Holler. <laughs> Yeah, 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 Dirk McGurk. Yo, so um, it's like, you know, I thought I wasn't going to touch no more microphones or something, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm looking forward to a future with Rockefeller, you know what I'm saying? What was the first thing you wanted to do when you were released? The first thing I wanted to do, give my mother a hug. See, man, look at this, man. This, this is, ain't no way. ODB Dirk McGirt should have on the Rockefeller chain. Jay Z, uh, Cameron, Beanie Siegel, all of them is wearing the rock chain. Dame Dash, he not even the type of person that would associate with an old dirty bastard. He's a arrogant, bougie Negro from Harlem of all places. Oh my goodness. He ain't trying to be around no dusties. We talking about Dame Dash. I change my sneakers every day. I, I never wear the same pair of socks twice. But you got ODB wearing the rock chain. And what will be the point in signing him to the label? They ain't like y'all need some new artists. Jay-Z, the number one rapper in the world. Why do, would you want ODB on your label? Because the same way the Wu-Tang Clan used him for a fall guy, Dame Dash used him for a fall guy as well. So we are about to get into that. Okay. And like I said, rest in peace to ODB, man. I'm not trying to throw dirt 
on his name, but where was the Wu-Tang Clan when all of this foolishness was happening in this man's life, y'all? But y'all got to see this. This this is some sad business I'm about to share with y'all right now. Some very, 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 very sad business. Let me pull this up real quick. Uh, Okay, here we go. Now, they get old dirty in the studio with Pharrell. And Pharrell is happy. ODB's home. But like I told y'all, ODB don't, he never wrote a rap in his life. And everybody looking at each other like, damn, what is going on? Look at this, y'all. That makes me know he's on top of his game 100%. That's the reason why I signed him. Yeah. yeah. It's been a while since Dirty worked on the rhyme. And it shows. Oh my god, man. So sad, man. He trying. He come home. He trying to say stay sober. He trying to do the right thing. They got him writing rhymes, something he don't know how to do. They give him a, a jungle beat. He trying to stay on beat. Teeth hurting. He fiending. It was bad for ODB. Why would Dame Dash throw him in the water like that? Just feed him to the wolves like that. I just don't understand. It was heartbreaking. Everybody knew it was a train wreck. But as you will see as this documentary go on, and I say documentary because y'all gonna be crying by the end of this. Oh my goodness. But y'all just gotta keep on paying attention, man. And if you hard of paying attention, hit that cash app for me, dollar sign Sean Blaze Docs. I really do appreciate that. And also hit that cash app too, man. Um, did I say that already? I'm over here acting like ODB. Oh my goodness. Let's just get back into this, man. He can't rap to save his life. And he was trying. Look at this, y'all. With business out of the way, it's time for Dirty to have some fun. The afro, just make it move, look more like, look like an afro, you know what I mean? Don't come down on him too much. He brings his new look to a birthday party for his manager, Jack. Dirty's arranged a surprise gift. Okay, I can't show y'all old Dirty with them prostitutes, but we just gonna move on to the next segment because he had them whack-ass bars. And um, like I told y'all, they put him in the studio with Pharrell and this man completely bombed. Hold up. Okay, y'all. Oh, now this is the part when the RZA call old Dirty and tell him about himself. Like, look, man, you better have my money. All right. Make sure, right? Please, because I can't dig it no more. Free from his girl. Dirty must now free himself from his Wu-Tang contract, which group leader RZA says still is in effect. It's a problem. It's still a problem, right? Yeah. RZA says he won't sign off on it. I think he wants to to be compensated. Yeah, maybe so, man. I mean, that's, you know, family business, personal family business. I really don't have nothing to do with it. Hopefully, both parties will, whatever they have to do, be fair about it. I wouldn't worry about it. Later that day, Dirty goes to the studio to record his first track. While at the mic, he gets a call from Wu-Tang manager Devon Riggs about the contract and royalties he claims he's owed. Hey, now, yo, um, yo, what's up with RZA, man? Is something going wrong or something? Talk to me, man. What's going on? And why don't you just nip it on in the bud and just take care of it real quick, Devon? Because I ain't got no money, man. I ain't got a dime in my pocket. No, what, what, Sonic? I ain't been out for two years and you fucking on ten little ass jeeps. I, 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 I spend that in one day, God. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Hello? Oh my God. Hold on. They, oh my God. Oh my goodness. They did him dirty for $10,000. He needed them to sign off. So Dame Dash can give him a little advance money. They got millions of dollars and they didn't want to sign off to give him 10 racks. 
and then hung up on his ass. But they talking about Wu Tang forever, Wu Tang for life. Didn't come see him when he was in jail. Now, mind you, he on parole. He can't go wilding out nowhere. And even if he wanted to, I don't think he wanted that smoke. But it gets worse, man, because Method Man said a mouthful when he said that ODB is basically worthless to the Wu-Tang Clan. And if Method Man feel like that, who is the most influential member, I could see if you God or Master Killer said it or even Rec Wan said it. But when Method Man call you out, that put a target on your back from everybody in the group, you know, because Method Man is the Wu-Tang Clan, basically. Whew, but that's Negro here nor there. Um, Y'all got to see this, man, because I I'm going to wrap this up real quick. Old Dirty in the studio with the Neptunes and he can't even freaking keep a tune going. And he with the Neptunes. Listen at this, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. With Pharrell Williams of the Neptunes. He's making a guest appearance on their next album. With his book of rhymes, Dirty heads to the mic. Yo, 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 yeah, yeah, turn it up louder. The on me, all, all the way up. You know what I'm talking about? Turn it up, see? I need to f loud. Yeah. Bug it up. Cocaine make the speakers blow. Party in mind you Pharrell Pharrell acting crazy like that's a rap that Rick Wan wrote when he was like five years old I'm just saying oh my goodness they wildin like ODB came up with some new material and I ain't trying to throw dirt on this man and he no longer here rest in peace to ODB but this just for y'all youngins out there that's trying to fit in with some people and you ain't really about that life. They going to turn you into their gimp and you going to be their little mascot. And you going to be the goofiest one in the group for entertainment purposes. They going to smoke weed with you just to laugh and crack jokes. Oh my goodness. When it comes to the coolest member of the Wu-Tang Clan, the coolest of the coolest is Method Man. RZA, he's the boss. Everybody got a spot. What was ODB's spot, really? Besides the fall guy. Okay. Oh my God, everybody's going crazy in here. All right, it's cool. We glad you home. All right, good, good. Thanks, man. Let's listen to this. All right. You can come in. After laying down a few verses. Pharrell needs Dirty to add some final touches to the track. Hold on, y'all gotta see this. Because ODB asked, the, asked Pharrell to help him with his rhymes. Listen at this. I don't know what the f they say. Hold on. Hey, yo. Oh my God, everybody's going crazy in here. All right, it's cool. We glad you're home. All right, good, good. Thanks, man. Let's listen to this. All right. You can come in. After laying down a few verses, Pharrell needs Dirty to add some final touches to the track. I need the wow. All right, you want that same as that? Or? No, I just need you. Like, you do it. You do it. Like, sing something. Hold on, Jay. I don't know what the f they say. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. I'll, I'll do it, but I want your touch on it, man. No, I'm doing that with you. This is the intro. All right, you want me to say, I don't know what the, I'm telling you, honestly. I don't know. I want I want you to decorate it. Like, baby, I'm... That's, that's crazy, yo. The Pharrell asked him to go in the booth 
Just say a little something for the intro, old dirty. It ain't even no rap. Go in there and say something for the intro, dog. Old dirty, like man, I ain't gonna be able to do it. I don't know what to say. He was mad that he had to go in there by himself and come up with something. And Pharrell, like, damn. You want me to do everything? That's what they've been doing this whole time, for real. Method Man tried to tell y'all, if somebody got to go from the group, hey, man, y'all going to have to let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section. Like I told y'all, man, we headed to the after party. I left the link in the description box. And, you know, matter of fact, let me do this real quick because people talk shit like, um, excuse my language, people acting like they don't see the link. So let me just uh, double check to see if it's in the description. The link is in the description. I'm looking dead at it. The link is in the description box. We headed over to the after party. Hopefully I see y'all there, man. I got so much love for y'all. Rest in peace, the old dirty bastard. Y'all gonna have to let me know if y'all think the Wu-Tang has something to do with it. Or did he just pass from natural causes or whatever the case is. But regardless of how it went down, rest in peace to old dirty bastard, man. Yo, I got to get out of here. Make sure y'all do me a favor. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, hit that notification button and hit that cash app too. Dollar sign Sean Blaze Docs. And for all y'all ladies out there, I got so much love for y'all. People talk about we slow. We don't know how to get to the channel. Can you please leave a link? Look, the only link I'm leaving is this sausage link or this hot dog link, baby. Oh, my goodness. But uh, that's Negro here nor there. And y'all know why I do these videos, man. I, 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 I risk my life to give you documentations, girl. I risk my life to give you documentations, girl. I risk my life to give you documentations, girl. I risk my life to give you documentations, girl. I